Now we'll see the first level cash. Now we'll see the first level cash. What is the first level cash? Now try to understand here. This is my database. This is my database. This is my database. Or the BMS. This database having one table that is products. Products. This database table having one table that is products. Now P ID, P name, P name, the next price, price. Three columns are there under that. 1001, the next Sony, price is 2000. By using load method, by using load method, we can load the, we can load that record from DB to front end application. After getting the session object, now we can use object O is equal to session dot load method or get method and we can load that record. Whenever we are loading that record, first that record is going to be stored into the in cache memory. In cache memory. First that record is loaded into the cache memory. Cache memory. Who is going to be maintained by this cache memory? Session object. Session object is going to be maintained by this cache memory. Session object is maintained by the cache memory. Whenever we are loading that, whenever we are loading that, first that record is going to be loaded into the cache memory. First that record is loaded into the cache memory. 1001, Sony, the next 2000. Like that, this record, this record is loaded to the cache memory and it is stored into that object inside the cache memory. After that, after that, we can modifying that object any number of times. We can modifying that object any number of times. See now here, product, product, P is equal to product of O. Product of O. Then next after that, P dot set price. P dot set price, I am setting here 3000. The next once again I am going to modify the same object. P dot set price. Two times I modified that object. Two times I modified that object. Whenever we modified like this, now this two times it is going to be modified inside the cache memory. Each and every time it is not hitting the database. Whenever we are taking the JDBC, how many times we are modifying that object? That many times we are going to hitting to the database and it is going to be modified that object. But in Hibernate, in Hibernate, we are going to maintain the cache memory. Hibernate framework is going to be maintained by the cache memory. Who is going to be pointing to that cache memory? Session object. Session object is going to be pointing to that cache memory. Whenever we are loading the record, first that record is stored into the cache memory. After that, I am going to modifying two times in my application. So now, that modification is done, that modification is done inside the cache memory only, inside the cache memory only. 
once again i am modifying the term object that the modification is done inside the cache memory only then finally this effect this effect is done database this effect is done in database so now finally it is going to be stored into the 4000 that means how many times we are hitting the database we are hitting to the only one time that means now number of cycles are reduced from front end application to back end application if the number of cycles are reducing then our application performance is going to be increased how much time this cache memory is available how much time this cache memory is available here we are opening the connection object that means session session is equal to factory dot open session that is opening the session object along with that session object cache memory also is coming some buffer area is going to be coming then when it is going to be closed whenever we are taking to the session dot session dot close session dot close then automatically then automatically okay that session object is going to be destroyed okay or closed from the cache memory right now we'll see this example practically now we'll see that example now we'll see that example practically right so now test eclipse Now here, go to the client application, go to the client application, see now here, I am loading one record from DB to front end application. After that, I am going to set it, I am going to set it modification values. Now here P dot P dot set to price. See now here I am taken five thousand. Five thousand. The next once again I am going to modifying P dot set price the next 6000 6000 the next offer that transaction transaction tx equal to session dot begin transaction begin transaction the next offer that after that session dot session dot update update p the next after that must and should we have to give the commit commit tx dot commit then object object is updated successfully now just observing here go to the database and we can check it out connect durga tech Durga tech slash Durga tech. The next offer that select select star from 
products select star from products now right now 4000 is there now i am going to running my application run as java application java application based on the query generation we can find out how many times we are hitting the database see now here so now how many queries are going to be generated here only one query is generated only one query is generated but the object is modified two times select star from products first i set it on 5000 then next i set it what 6000 right so this is the way this is the way we can maintain the first level cache this is the first level cache when this cache memory is removed whenever we are closing session dot close now here now here what is the difference between what is the difference between what is the difference between update method and merge method what is the difference between update method and merge method what is the difference between merge method and update method the update method is is related to a particular session object update method is related to particular session object right it is related to the a particular session object it is not related to two or three session objects now i am loading the one object from db to front end application after loading the one object from db to front end application then we can modifying we can modifying and we can use the update method and happily it is going to update a database database now i am loading the one object from db to front end application after that i modified that object then i am going to closing that connection object that means session object now i am going to opening to the i am going to loading to the same object once again through another session object through another session object same object i am going to loading to the another another session object right now at that time whenever we are using the update method it doesn't work whereas whenever we are using the merge method it is going to be merging the previous session as well as current session object and finally it is given to the updation so now here listen carefully not understand means listen carefully here i am getting the one object from db to front end application right so now how do getting the one object to db to front end application session session is equal to okay now session session is equal to factory dot open session factory dot open session the next after that object o is equal to session dot get method now here i am passing product dot class the next new integer of integer of 1000 1 1001 then next after that i am going to type casting to product p is equal to product of o then next p dot set price set price 4000 4000 after that i am going to closing the session object session dot close session dot close then next i am going to opening another session object session 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 1 is equal to factory dot 
factory dot open session factory dot open session factory dot open session right after that i am going to loading once again that object object o1 is equal to session dot session dot get method then session 1 or session 1 session 1 then product dot class comma new integer of 1001 1001 after that what i am going to doing here what i am going to doing here session 1 dot okay session 1 dot before giving to the session 1 dot update or merge what we have to take transaction right this is what dml operation transaction tx is equal to session 1 session 1 dot begin transaction begin transaction after that after that i am going to use session 1 dot session 1 dot update update of p then after that tx dot commit tx dot commit tx dot commit whenever we are using the update method here we are going to getting an exception we are going to getting an exception if whereas instead of instead of update method whenever we are using the here merge method whenever we are using the merge method session 1 dot session 1 dot merge merge now we can use here what p now the functionality of this merge method is it is going to combined combined first session object as well as second session object and final it is going to be updating but same id here we can observing very clearly same id 1001 only okay 1001 only i am loading but unfortunately this session object is going to be closed but i want to updating at any cost to that object from deep front end application to back end application in that case in that case now second session object is going to be involved and it is going to be updating to the database at that time whenever we are using the update method it doesn't work then must and should we need to use what merge method only merge method only now we'll see here